I'm Zach Norman with Evolution Upholstering Designs and today I want to show you the transformation of these 51 year old throne chairs from being dumpster ready to fit for royalty. The first step was to strip off everything. These once beautiful chairs were built by Gilliam Distinctive Furniture in Statesville, North Carolina in 1967 then shipped to a furniture store in Bossier City, Louisiana according to their build tag. My client got them after they ended up in her aunt and uncle's antique shop in Forest City, Arkansas. She brought them back to Texarkana and reached out to me to see if they could be saved. These chairs have amazing lines, so I jumped at the chance to bring them back to life. Unfortunately, nothing was going to be able to be reused except for the frame itself. The fabric and foam was all dry rotted and needed to be trashed. We decided to redesign the look, so I was able to just kind of grip it and rip it. Um, the springs were flat and rusted too, so they had to go. Once everything was ripped off, every single staple was removed, the frame was then stripped and sanded for what felt like an eternity. Especially since we're going to be staining in a lighter color, it required just a ton of sanding. I left a little bit of the color around the edges to give it an antique look once I restained it. While the frame was drying, I started cutting on the fabric. The only original piece that I used for a template was the seat cushion. The boss man thought I was doing a great job, so he gave me a sticker for my hard work. Of course he had to give himself a sticker for being so awesome. Wait, he got two stickers? World's greatest boss? Since the inside back was now going to be a top back, I had to cut a curve out of the cushion to allow for the foam. I used my fabric minus a sew seam as a template to cut the foam for my cushion. Back on the frame, I shot my clips for the seat springs. Then the seat springs need to be cut. Springs are a mess in I'm gonna make sure that one fits and then I'll cut the rest of it. Now that the springs are cut, they get sprung. Now I didn't video all the details. The springs were covered in a burlap, then a cotton deck pad. The seat fabric was cut as one solid piece, but then I sewed it to some gray denim upholstery decking that gets stapled down to the frame, covered with a foam edge roll, and fiber gets wrapped over it. Then the fabric gets shot down. The back was then webbed using some juice webbing that was stretched tight. It got covered with burlap to create a solid protective layer for the foam.
cut out my back foam and glued it to the fiber with enough overhang to be able to pull once I upholstered it. I then mapped out my tufting holes and used my hole saw to cut it out. For the inside back fabric, I marked each hole where the buttons were going to get pulled through. This helps make sure that my tufting was even and square. I wanted the foam to have a rounded edge, so I shot the bottom edge of the foam to the frame, then shot the top edge of the foam. Finally, the fiber was shot down and then trimmed flush with the exposed wood. I make my buttons with a handy button machine. This tool is super fun and just makes buttons super easy. Then I can finally tough this dude. Button string gets shoved through with a tufting needle, then tied in the back using a slip knot and a piece of fiber. I didn't get any detailed shots of how to tough, so I'll make another video for that later on. Once the inside back was done, more burlap went on the outside back, then a layer of fiber, and then finally the fabric. The arm panels have foam wrapped in fiber and then the fabric is shot down tight. I cut off any excess material before the welt cord gets shot around the bottom edge. Then they just got screwed into the frame. The final touch is a double welt cord. This hides the raw edge of your materials and covers any staples and just kind of gives it a good clean look. It is attached using hot glue that is then pressed in for a tight seal. So, we started with a frame that I'm pretty sure someone died in and turned it into a pair of amazing thrones. Redesigning the back and arms really changed the look of this chair. It gave it a nice rounded, clean, elegant look. The client left us an amazing review and this has been one of my favorite transformations to date. If you like this video, be sure and give it a good old thumbs up. Also be sure and subscribe to our channel. If you want to follow along with our builds, be sure to follow us on Instagram. And finally, you can check out our website at evolutionupholstery.com. Thanks for watching.